feminist is like a really like kind of almost like the the F word, like feminist is like radical and hates men and you can't be a feminist and stuff. But you know, I've had a boyfriend for four years, like I don't hate men, like that's not a stereotype like I think even really exists anymore. Crazy people that are trying to, to fix something that doesn't really need to be fixed, I guess. That's the first thing that comes to mind. When I think about having a set definition for feminism, I don't really end up with a specific set of parameters in my mind. Uh, like I said, I have a lot of ideas on what constitutes a feministic point of view, but considering that there are, are many different varieties that I've encountered in my life, um, some more belligerent and some uh, you know, more passive, it's kind of hard for me to say specifically what I think of feminism besides uh, an emphasis on um, women in general, whether that be, you know, equal rights or uh, just treatment or, or something along those lines of human rights and um, civil discussions. We're not the harsh um, burn your bras movement, although it can be, we're not totally defined by that, we're kind of this movement where equal rights is feminism, and if you're anti-feminism then you're anti-equal rights, which I don't know how you can be human and be anti-equal rights. I would describe feminism as the equality of all people. Um, actually, Feminists for Action here on campus, they describe uh, feminism as the equality of men, women, boys and girls. Um, basically, we as feminists, um, I don't want to be like too broad because a lot of feminists have different views, but mainly on campus, we want equality. We want an equal playing field. Um, we want to be, women want to be paid the same as men and we want to not be harassed in public or harassed in institutions. Um, we just want the same equal treatment that everyone else has, and we don't really have that. People think that we are equal and there is this equality, um, but there's too much evidence to point that we're not equal and there's not full equality yet. The thing about feminism is we're not asking people not to stay home with their children or not be like housewives. Like, we support that. Like, if that's what you want to do with your life, then like do it. Like, but we want everyone to have what they want to do. Like, if someone wants to go and you know be the top scientist, we want like her to be supported and recognized, and we want all the equality for her as much as we want equality for someone who wants to stay home with their kids and not be judged for it. So really it's just about this like hate-free, judge-free equality for all lifestyle. And I don't really understand why anyone wouldn't classify themselves as a feminist. I, I don't care who you are, if you're a woman or a man, if you work hard, they're gonna, they're gonna pay you what you want to get paid. And if you're good enough at what you do, they're gonna pay you what you want to get paid. So we're t when this pay gap that, we're t that everyone talks about, these are mediocre jobs that people are talking about. Hey, who cares? But I'm telling you what, if you work hard and you pick a job that you can really move up in, anyone can get as, as much as they want. I mean, think about how many CEOs there are that are women. Okay? They didn't just go get this moody, mediocre job and they complained about how much they're getting paid. No, they worked their butt off. They worked every single day as hard as they could. They beat out the men and now they get paid more than them. And that's just how I look at it. Women make 77 cents for every dollar that a man makes. Um, and I know that I don't want to be making less just because of my gender. The society has has its, has its set of standards and that's what, and Women are there and men are here, and that's how that is, and people need to realize that sometimes. Most of my bosses have been females. My mom definitely believes in the empowerment of women because she is a powerful figure in her job and she's had to deal with a lot of inequalities with that, where men do not take her seriously because of her gender, and they refuse to recognize that she knows what she's talking about and she is an informed leader. Um, just because of the fact that she's female. The media really distorts what a woman is. I see a lot of girls who don't have breasts, like the models, or they're just flat chested, and I'm thinking that's not a, I mean, they're a woman, but that's not what I see a woman as being. Um, and so the media really destroys everything I've ever believed, and I look at these models who are, who are white, 
who have no curves and who are like six foot tall. And then you come to Ball State University and you see girls who are African American and Chinese and Korean and Vietnamese and, and white and Hispanic and then you, you kind of lose what it means to be yourself when all you see in the media is this, this whitewashed image of a stick figure. I feel like the media portrays feminists as these overly aggressive women who are kind of like touchy about certain subjects and maybe leap to um, um, like anger too soon. You know what I mean? Like they're oversensitive. Women's issues do not get this much media coverage unless it's somehow making them out to be negative. Well, if I had to give a hashtag, I guess it'd kind of be advice that I'd say, hashtag represent the truth. And I guess what I mean by that is, on one side, maybe destroy some of the negative stereotypes about feminism, and then on the other side, uh, kind of show, I mean, also don't just have an, an open space there, but show what's positive about it, and why lots of people can be involved with the movement, or why maybe the idea is not for some people for one reason or another. So I guess just have an open environment where people can discuss what feminism actually is. Hashtag Mean Girls is my favorite feminist movie. Hashtag Get Out of the Kitchen. Hashtag Quit it with the feminism shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go again. <laughs> Hashtag Stop Feminism. Men and women should be equal because we're all people, and it is fundamentally wrong that we're not equal. But in today's society, we, we aren't. We get treated differently, we get paid less. Um, even behaviors that are should be normal, men get prizes for those behaviors, and women get shamed and um, looked on as inferior because of that, and that's wrong. So we aren't equal right now, but we should be. I think we should start a menist movement. Is that, is that what you call it? Menist, yes. Yeah. I do think it's interesting that um, there has not yet been a large scale movement of men trying to seek the same type of attention in terms of um, personal rights, not because men have necessarily been denied certain rights. I don't really think that's the case historically. But sometimes it is interesting as a Caucasian male to look at stereotypes that exist for myself and how a lot of time nothing is done to combat those. And even though those may, those may not affect me, um, it's still kind of an interesting opposite swing of the pendulum. I think equal rights boils down to we're all humans and we all belong to this earth. 